We're joined by Shane Mumford for the Ask a Swans segment on Swans TV. We've had fans uh, sending their questions for Shane and the first one comes from Ava. She's got a two-part question for you, Shane. You've come off a limited pre-season through injury. Do you feel like you're back to your best yet or have you still got a little while to go? Um, yeah, I don't... Well, everyone, everyone's still trying to get match fitness up. Um, doesn't matter what kind of training you do in the pre-season, once you start playing games, um, everyone gets worn out pretty quick, so I'm still yeah, a little bit off where I'd like to be, but um, yeah, hopefully within the next few weeks I'll be up and running. Great, and the second part of Ava's question is that your housemate, Josh Kennedy, uh, is in all his short, shirtless glory in her latest edition of Cleo magazine as a, file, as a finalist for Bachelor of the Year. How much of a ribbing has he copped here at the club? Um, yeah, Joey's probably copped copped a fair bit of stuff there's a, a few different photos and his profiles up around the uh, the club in a few different places but I think there's a few blokes there that are a bit jealous too because um, yeah well, who knows Joey Joey might meet the girl of his dreams out of it too so we'll wait and see. Fantastic uh, now Joel asks uh, what do you think is the most important thing for a young ruckman to work on? Um, well these days I think you've got to be able to play um, a few different positions you can't just be a ruckman so probably learn to play as a forward or a backman as well um, and I reckon being able to jump off both sides of your body um, at the centre bounce is a, um, a helpful thing as well so. I'd imagine just fitness and the ability to get to contests is another important thing and certainly something we see in your game. Um, yeah it's something that's that's getting a lot more um, especially with the new new interchange rule and stuff like that you've got to be really fit these days so. Fantastic. Our next question is from Cam, who asks um, how you rate uh, the Hill and Ryder combination for Essendon ahead of this week's game. Um, yeah, they're both both good ruckmen. It's going to be a, um, a a good challenge for me and whoever we uh, we decide to take in. Um, but yeah, well, you've got two different two different styles of ruckman there. Hill's more of a solid, um, stronger ruckman that rucks a bit like I do, and um, Paddy, yeah, he's got that amazing leap as uh, everyone's seen. So you've got to be able to try and combat that somehow. And both of those guys are pretty handy when they push forward. Yeah, yeah. So I'll have to be keep an eye open for that. Great. And f um, our next question is from Eamon O'Loughlin, who asks, "Who's the toughest ruckman you've ever played against?" Um, yeah, it's got to go to Aaron Sandlin. It's just for his his size and, and strength, um, he's just he's just too big to be able to try and stop him basically. Um, and his fitness, he's actually he actually runs quite well for a big guy, so he's definitely the, the hardest I've played against. Final question comes from me, Shane. What happened to your nose? Um, I've actually got no idea. It happened at some point during the game on the weekend. Great.